right guys so um my name is lola and i'm here to bring you a relaxing flow for reading relaxation day first things first you don't need any props for this practice but if you like a block or you know you might need straps for a certain um asana go ahead and get creative or grab your props i don't have any incorporated into the flow so don't worry about that but um just come as you are, with an open heart, open mind, ready to relax on relaxation day. So in this book that I've been reading called Be Happy, 170 Ways to Transform Your Day by Patrick Lindsay, there was a reading in it um, that really stood out to me that I felt compelled to share with you guys on relaxation day. So enjoy the silence. In a world of constant clamor, silence can be pure pleasure. It can provide a haven and allow your own melodies to flourish. Seek out the quiet corners. Enjoy the liberating space they provide. Fill the silent space with calm thoughts and revive your soul. So sit on that for a little bit before we meditate. How can you implement some quiet stillness practices into your life to revive your soul? That's my question for you today. Hmm. So we'll start in a comfortable seated position, Sukhasana, easy seat, crisscross. And you're going to want to reach behind you, grab your bottom and just rock from side to side, pulling the flesh from underneath your sits bones so you can Really connect and root deep. Okay. So as we roll into our flow, just kind of rock side to side. Notice how this rocking feels. Bring both palms to your heart. Close your eyes and continue on. This slight rocking is very soothing. It's calming. And while your palms are on your heart, really um, push deep into your sternum. So you can feel the rhythm of that beat. Tune your awareness to a slight thump. And know that that beating signifies that you are alive. You are alive with a purpose whether you know what it is at this moment or not. Now find stillness, take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Hands come to the tops of our thighs or in your lap, whatever feels comfortable for you. And we'll start with our breath work. So let your eyes fall right here and listen to my voice. So as our eyes are closed or our gaze is softly in front of us, take a deep breath in through your nose, pausing at the top and slowly exhaling out of your mouth.
it probably will. Simply just let them pass like clouds without judgment. Reach your hands above your head, palms to touch. Exhale, they come back down by our side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, hands come to prayer at the top of your head, pulling it through your heart center. And just breathe here. Sit with your breath. Flow with your breath. hands come back down by our sides and we'll rock it out one more time. forehead fall on the tops of your knees. Just breathe here. behind you. Step your feet apart one time or two. And you're going to slightly drop your knees from side to side. Just waking up your hips. to your back and the soles of your feet touch, knees spread wide, hands are out beside you or centered in your chest, palm to palm. And just breathe here and soup the Baddha recline down angle pose. Notice the sensation. 
sensation of the air coming in and out of your nose. Tune your awareness to your body. of your other right um, thigh for figure four. Comfortable seated position, crisscross. Sukhasana. Hmm. Breathing here. You're gonna bring your right hand to your left knee and twist. Yeah. 
chest through your heart center, punching your spine. of your feet into your yoga mat and rooting all of your finger pads into the earth. Take a few cat cows, dropping your spine, pulling your heart through your deltoids. Exhale, cat. Just flow through your cat and cow. forehead kisses your back. And this time, 
threading your left hand underneath your right armpit. Anjali Mucha right behind your head one more time. tabletop, tuck your toes, and sink back, inhale forward, exhale sink back, inhale back forward, hunching your spine as you get there, and then dropping it as you sink So this is like a fluid cat-cow movement right here. So just flow through, connecting each movement with your breath. to find downward facing dog. Your fingertips are rooted down into the earth and the soles of your feet are energetically pushing down into the earth. Don't pay any attention to how far your heels reach to the your yoga mat. But 
simply just enjoy the stretch in your legs. Bending your knees generously, that helps you find proper alignment of a straight back. Now inhale, rolling forward to plank. Drop your knees right here. You can have your toes tucked or untucked, personal preference. And then hinge at your elbows, the chaturanga. And then inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, one more time. Inhale, out to plank. Exhale, dropping your knees, shifting back to child's. Big toes touch, knees spread wide. Put your 
And when you get there, heel toe apart. Grab for both elbows and just rock. Let your neck and head release any tension it's been holding throughout the day. Bending your knees generously to create that nice flat back. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.